Today, I'm gonna show you how to make super simple static custom overlays all inside of Photoshop, kind of like this, this, and even this. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So like I said in the intro, we're gonna be doing some custom static overlays entirely inside of Photoshop. These are unbelievably easy to create. I created all three that you saw in the intro in like 10 or 15 minutes. They're super easy, and you can get awesome backgrounds for your overlays from a website I'm gonna show you here in a bit. But before we get into it, I just wanna say that I do try to stream every Tuesday and Sunday over on twitch.tv forward slash BravityM, so make sure you're jumping over there and dropping a follow and maybe catching a live stream if you're interested. Also, like I mentioned in a previous video, I have been checking the analytics for my YouTube channel and have been shocked at how many people watch my videos that are not subscribed. So if you are enjoying the content, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps a lot to keep the channel going, but let's go ahead and jump inside of Photoshop and get started with creating some static overlays. All right, guys, so here we are inside of Photoshop, and here's the three that you saw in the intro. We got this awesome paint starting soon screen. We've got this wooden style ending screen, and then you got this line kind of bright based be right back screen. These are unbelievably easy to create. Like I said, they took me about 15 minutes, and I don't mean 15 minutes a piece. I mean 15 minutes total to create all three of these. They look awesome and they can add a lot of style to your Twitch stream, so why not create them if it's this easy and if you got Photoshop? So how we're gonna start is we're gonna go up to File, New, and we're just gonna create a new document here. 1920 by 1080, perfect, that is the normal HD video size. So we're just gonna create that one there. Go ahead and hit Create, and here we are with a blank canvas to do whatever we want on. So first things first is we want to add a background and how we're gonna do that, and the main focus of this video is with a website called Pexels. So if we type in Pexels, up here, you'll see P-E-X-E-L-S dot com and go ahead and hit enter. You can get free stock photos and free stock video from this website. It is incredible. And if we go to photos and just type like backgrounds, that's normally what I type. You'll see we've got all kinds of awesome stuff to choose from that is completely free. You see we got the wooden texture I used here. We've got the paint texture that I used here. Go ahead and scroll down. We got more wooden textures. We got some really cool looking textures. Let's see, what do we want to do? Hmm. We've got the awesome line texture here. This is fairly similar to the one that I used in the third one. What do we want to do here? Ooh, this one's pretty cool. This yellow and gray one. So if we want to use this one, what we can do is just click on it and then just go to the free download button, a big green free download button, and boom, you're done. We got it downloaded over here. You can go back into Photoshop. Let's go ahead and open this back up and just drag it into Photoshop from our downloads, just like that. There we go, and now we can go ahead and rotate this around. I'm gonna hold shift while I rotate to make sure I rotate it a perfect 90 degrees. And then go ahead and scale it up to make sure it matches our composition. There we go, fill the whole composition and boom, there we go, we've got a really cool looking background. Now to make it look like a Twitch overlay, let's just go ahead and type, uh, let's do another B right back. Uh, B right back, and we'll do another one where it's like framed up to the left, kind of like that. Beautiful, free transform. And actually the text is already, the, wow, the text is already like the exact gray of this line in the center. I was actually planning on doing that. That's kind of interesting. But what I wanna do is I wanna select the text and we wanna go ahead and change the color to whatever this line is. I think that would be pretty cool. There we go, because we're kind of making it look like, this looks like it was a photo taken of like a wall that was painted, and it looks like we can make the text look like it's on the wall, which I think would be cool. So what we can do is we can go over here and uh, change this B right back to maybe be, let's do overlay. Yeah, so it's kind of see-through, and then maybe we'll duplicate this to make it a little bit brighter. So duplicate it, and there we go. That's looking pretty cool, and you can see, you can see through it. Looks like it's on the wall, just like that. And then I'm actually gonna head back into our wood style and I'm gonna grab the social media stuff from here and I'm just gonna drag it onto here and kind of put it down here in the yellow. And uh, boom, <laughs> to be honest, that's pretty much the extent I've been going to to create these. I grabbed like this wooden background and then I just added the text stream ending soon. I added a little bit of a text style to it. So on this one, if you wanted to make it look a bit different, let's say we didn't want it to look like it was on the, uh, on the street or on the wall or whatever this is, we can go ahead and make this like a nice bright white text, kind of like that. And then go into our text styles and maybe add like a cool little drop shadow, change the distance and the size and the spread of it all. Maybe up our, up our opacity. You can add a stroke if you want. A stroke could look cool. So let's go ahead and add a black stroke. 
Let's go ahead and free transform make this a little bit bigger in the corner, just like that. I'm actually not digging the stroke on there, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the stroke off just like that. So there we go, we've got it looking a bit more bright and not like it's part of the road, and that is pretty cool as well. Let's go ahead and move around our Twitter and YouTube down into the corner. You could put something else up here if you wanted to have like the chat rolling up here. But as you can see, it is super easy to grab any kind of background from Pexels and just throw some text on top of it. And you've got an awesome looking static overlay completely free if you own Photoshop. You can even download the trial version of Photoshop and just make a couple screens really quick. Like I said, 15 minutes to create that that and that and these are some really cool screens like this one i love this style the yellow text on the wooden background i think that is awesome and i think anyone could add that to your stream and uh, people would be like wow that is a pretty cool style and the cool thing is obviously you don't just have to stick to stream ending soon you can add stream starting soon here and you can have the same starting soon screen so this is your starting screen starting soon screen you can change this text to be be right back and stream ending soon and then you got your whole stream overlay package boom just like that super easy created entirely static inside of photoshop and that is pretty much it guys but one more thing before we go if you guys do want this paint style stream starting soon or this wooden style or this line style and want to change some text change the social media to be whatever you want there is going to be a link in in the description where you can download the Photoshop files that I created right here in about 15 minutes if you guys want these exact exact static overlays but I highly recommend you guys jump into Pexels and Photoshop and design your own stuff and make sure you send them to me on Twitter if you do or post them in my discord there's a place where you can post all your work inside my discord there's a link in the description of all my videos to join the discord but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and get a lot out of knowing that Pexels exists and make some awesome stuff inside of Photoshop and I will see you guys in the next video